What's up everybody, I'm back, another video, and when I did that uh, food said I despise video that came out a few days ago, if you haven't watched that already, go watch that right now, get off this video, go watch that one, and then come back and watch this one, because that's like, this is like an extension of, of that video, because there's one item, one item that I forgot to mention, and... Thinking about it, I was like, oh, should I take it down, re-upload it? But no, this item deserves to have its own video because it is that bad. It is my most despised item. Like, I would eat a whole tomato over doing this. I would eat three whole pickles over doing this. I would eat ten onions over doing this. Um, I would... Anything that I mentioned in that last video, I would have over this. Just for the record. Okay. So what is the item? What is it? Well, coffee. I hate coffee. I have never tried. I have tried it once. It's one of the worst experiences of my life. And I hate it so much. And... So today, let's get into it. Let's get into the coffee realm of things here. Let's do this. So why don't I like coffee? Because theoretically, I should like coffee, right? It's caffeine. Oops, sorry about that. Caffeinated to have in the morning. Here's the thing. I don't already. I already don't like hot beverages for the most part. I'll because. I don't do very good with those. Like hot chocolate even. Like I like hot chocolate. Hence why it was in the, in the last video. Um, but I don't prefer it. I don't like hot tea. I don't like especially coffee. I don't like hot beverages. So that takes out pretty much all forms of coffee right there. I mean there is like iced coffee. And there's like like mocha coffees and bull crap like that. And all these other guys. Coffee's got all these sort of names. Why do they got so many sort of names? You got mocha, frappuccino, laparino, uh, coca, mocha, loco, singamahoba, na na na. You know? Like, it's coffee. It's 10 million shots of caffeine put into, turned with these beans from South America. Blended into a thing with a big whooping mixer like this from Starbucks. Bottled up, put some whipped cream on it, throw a cherry on top, and sell it for $150 at Starbucks. That's what it is. That's what it is. And yet people like it so much. And yet people drink this stuff two, three, sometimes four times a day. Their entire lives. Kids as young as like seven are drinking this crap every day. It's like people's, like, they, ow. First off, it smells horrible. Coffee smells horrible. You've ever smelt something that is both burning, it's like a burning pile of crap. That's what coffee smells like times 10. Um, absolute disgraceful, horrible stuff, and... You know, you can just say, you know, that they're going to uh, fix it by putting fucking creamer or whipped cream or, uh, I don't know, ice in it. Who puts ice in coffee? Who, why? Put ice in anything, it's going to make it taste different, take, taste weird. It's going to water it down. It's going to take away from its natural flavor. This goes for everything. Not just coffee. They put it make iced coffee. You know, people sending like hot beverages and trying to cater to people like me. Oh, bull crap. Okay. It's going to get nobody. It just makes it so you don't want to burn your hands or whatever. So it smells horrible. And it is horrible for you. And don't go off. And don't go off and say, oh, yeah, Mountain Dew is not that better. But it's better. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is better. You want me to prove it to you? I'll get one right now. Food is crap, you people. Oh, my fridge here. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, this one, this one. Okay. 
Let's try this one. I got a can of gingerbread snapped here, all right? Because um, I don't have the regular. This is only 160 calories, okay? Not that bad compared to compared to what coffee is. Um, this is the most accurate tasting Mountain Dew to coffee, and I will drink this any day over coffee. I'm not actually going to drink that right now. <laughs> I just got it for comparison. But, like, it has the same color, taste... It's not the, I'm like, oh, and put the caffeine in it, you know, it's not the same thing. No, but the extra crab they put in it. They put marshmallows in it. Ruining the marshmallows. About to sneeze. There we go. And they put sugar, sugar, sugar. Like, coffee on its own, right, is already pretty high sugar content. But then you just put shots of espresso. Like, what the hell is even espresso? Like the Subway Express, Polar Express. They serve hot chocolate on the Polar Express, not coffee. Hot, 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 hot chocolate. Ooh, burn my mouth. <laughs> got second degree burns. Click your Folgers machine. He's got to get it up to a thousand degrees and you got to drink it right at the beginning. And they put like whipped cream on it on the top, throw a little bit more sugar, put sprint. Like there was one called the Unicorn Frappuccino it was a few years ago. How can you even consider that a coffee? This thing is literally pink, suspicious unicorn crap. Swirled into a plastic cup, put more fluffy unicorn crap on top, and it's six sugar on top. Throw a cherry on it. Oh, yeah, because I'll make it healthy. Right? People bought it. How stupid are you people to buy that crap? It has no value. Like, at least this tastes good. You think unicorn crap in a cup for $15 is going to taste good? This is like 10 for a 12 pack! Not even 10, that's like 3 12 packs. And all I can do is laugh. Because people are so addicted to this stuff. Coffee is like the legal version of meth here in the United States and across the world too. Nine times out of ten, when you go. Out in public between the hours of about 6 a.m. to about 11 a.m., maybe 10 a.m., you're going to see the majority of people are going to have a coffee cup in their hands. Or we're throwing away a coffee cup. Are you looking at the trash can? Most of it's going to be coffee cups. And you can smell somebody's breath. That's weird. Don't do that. It's probably going to be coffee on their breath. People are so addicted to this crap. That some people need three, four, five cups a day just to get by. That's the exact definition of a cigarette addiction or an alcohol addiction. Probably not alcohol because I'd probably kill you. But cigarettes. People go through packs a day just because they need them to get by. That's what coffee is. But no. We go all over cigarettes but not coffee. What's the difference? What's the difference? You're getting people drugged up on caffeine. Yeah, sure, this has caffeine, but you know what? It's not coffee. That was probably a bad idea, but... How is that legal? You're depleting resources in South America, who's already poverty-stricken. So then you could go up to Starbucks at 8 o'clock in the morning, spin around, roll 15 bucks, yeah, I'll give it 10 bucks, coffee, that's so good, yeah. And, get, and then people get their little pastries with them that cost like 15 bucks, a little shitty chocolate muffin that tastes like cardboard. No, nobody bats an eye to this. Nobody. Because you all are addicted onto it. So here's what we're going to do. PSA for the U.S. government here. 
Um, you want to tax cigarettes, you want to tax alcohol, great idea. How about we join coffee on that as well? We'll have a coffee tax. And the profits from those coffee taxes will go towards South America. So that people can actually live there. And so they're not overthrowing their government every five hours. And so that their natural resources, like the Amazon rainforest, aren't getting depleted. How about that? But no, you probably won't do that. You're probably gonna go tax. I'm gonna tax Mountain Dew instead of that, wouldn't you? Fucking hate coffee, dude. Is the worst smelling, worst tasting. It tastes like poop. Well, by the way, this thing that you're injecting 500 kilograms of sugar into. Making people seem like they're on meth? Yeah, tastes like poop, doesn't it? Just like cigarettes. <laughs>